alamisi ijayo utakuwa na kikao cha NEC ya chama cha PNU ambapo tutaamua msimamo wetu kama chama kuhusu uhusiano wetu na muungano wa asimio kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ile chama cha ODM ambayo ilikuwa chama kwa hii muungano wamejiunga na serikali na kama wamejiunga na serikali hawawezi kuwa kwa serikali na pia wawe kwa upinzani kwa hivyo kama asimio imesema imekuwa sehemu moja ya serikali sisi ambao tunataka kukaa upinzani lazima tunjitenge ndio tuweze kuendelea kutetea wananchi wa Kenya sababu nchi ya Kenya iko na mashinda mengi sana ambayo yameletwa na serikali iliyoko kwa hivyo sisi uamuzi wetu nastaki kuamua mimi peke yangu ndio nahusisha wenye chama alamisi njao tuketi tuweze kuamua msimamo ni, ni, ni msimamo gani eh, because the way our constitution is structured there has to be two sides there is people who are in government and then there are people who are supposed to be in opposition you can't be in both places you can't be in opposition and be in government at the same time uh, so with a lot of respect to our partners in asimio led by a man we respect a lot Raila Ondinga tunawatakia kila laheri katika serikali we wish them well in government but they must make a decision to move completely in government or stay in the opposition but they can't be in two places at the same time the government requires to be checked one way of making sure the government performs is by having a strong opposition that keeps the government on its toes and you cannot keep the government on its toes when you are sharing the same table with the government you can be inside the government and at the same time outside na tukisema hivyo si ati tuko na ubaya wowote na mtu yeyote we are just saying we believe we can play a better role ourselves in PNU when we are in the opposition and we are telling our brothers who are with us in Asimio let them also make that choice if they have decided to join the government they join the government fully so that now it is clear who is playing where right now is confusion and uh, we don't accept the idea that what they have formed is a government of national unity the government of national unit cannot be formed by one person who calls the people he selects to put them in government the government of national unity has to be done in a structured manner where the parties that are involved have a say and uh, a law has to be made also to anchor that kind of government in law so where one person is speaking cherry picking who we want to put somewhere that cannot be a, a government of national unity if it's a government of national unity then it's a government of national unity against the people of Kenya because the people of Kenya have been speaking they have been in the streets demanding certain changes those changes have not taken place what has happened is a few people have been given seats at the table first of all i am not been offered any and even if i'm offered i will i will decline the offer because i think i'm better off working with the people of Kenya to bring the changes that we require than going in there to strengthen a government that people have a lot of issues with.